control this microorganism by heating. And the way to change the water, the microorganisms are kill change and cheaper than the matter. Control the ancient cheaper. Yaru Louis Patcher. He first, he hypothesized and the winter thing. Winter. And also, during that time, if I need rabies vaccine, what is this? Rabies vaccine. Do you know what is rabies vaccine? Do you know rabies vaccine? Coca carcinoma from our key, this is an engagement today. I engage in the Coca Caravacumunde vaccine is condemned on water. And a rabies and a bad deal was to me. Coca carist was to me. Other Akonda on the end. Rabies vaccine is Kunte. I can rabies and a very much. Who introduces that vaccine? Louis Pacher. Who is the person? Louis Pacher. And also, you find the anthrax vaccine. And also, you find so many vaccines for human diseases. So many. So many vaccines for human diseases. For controlling them. He saved silk industry in Germany and France. And during that time, in those days, in the Germany and France, the silk industry is also very, 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 very in trouble. So during that time, he saved the silk industry. Okay, now. So, so, actually, what he hypothesized the microorganisms was killed by the boil, killed by the heating engine. That process is known as pasteurization. What is this? Pasteurization. Why? Because why we call it as a pasteurization? This process is found by this Louis Pasteur. So that's the reason. This process is known as pasteurization. The process is known as Pacturization. Actually, there is one more scientist, Lazaro Spallanzani, is the proof. Other proof is said. It is cheaper. It is proof is said. Even proof is said. The microorganisms are killed by boiling. It is cheaper than the proof is said. The microorganisms are killed by boiling. A pretty in the year of 1768. 1768. Who said Lazaro Spangiani? He proved that the microorganisms were killed by boiling. This is about innovation of pasteurization. Okay, next. Stories and packing. <coughs> Stories and packing. Actually, nowadays, so many food items they pack and store. Dry fruits, vegetables, pickles, everything they store and pack. Is it right? What is the use? Proper preservation. And proper preservation. In proper preservation of food help us in the following ways. And What are they? The first one. Prevents spoils of food. Yes. Automatically spoil of food. Prevents the spoiling of food. Pickles you preserve. So that's the reason they are not spoiled. They may not be spoiled. Is it right? Bhattaparastam. Preserve. We preserve the pickles. Next. Preserve for longer period. Yes. Our pickles. At least one or two years it will, it will, it will not be spoiled. Why? Because we preserve. We preserve. Bhattaparastam. Next. 
quality of food is ensured for a long term yes baga badra pachukondi a quality ni man chaala kaalam varaku chodachu the quality of food is ensured for a long term that is the use of preservation and also variety of food items may be available in any far available in any far away places in any season and ye country gana pambechochu aa season ee season le ye season lo aina sare ye fruit aina pambechochu how by the preservation by the preservation so these are the uses with proper preservation these are the uses with proper preservation do you know the the process of pasteurization it they are used in many ways they used in many ways in the hospitals before doing the operation the surgical blades syringes everything they boil for what to you know for killing microorganisms for killing microorganisms is it right sterilized sterilized water so in the milk industry they are using pasteurization process so this is about this is about microorganisms the harmful microorganisms already in the previous chapter we saw the useful microorganisms this is about harmful microorganisms next we will enter into the reproduction okay okay now we will going to discuss about male reproductive system what is that male reproductive system in human beings so if you see the male reproductive system there are one pair of testis this is called testis and vas deferentia this is called vas deferentia this vas deferentia is also called as seminal ducts seminal duct and also here there are some glands cowper glands what is that cowper glands and also ostrate gland so the glands are also located in the male reproductive system and also there is a margin here should do you know this margin name urethra what is that urethra this is called penis this is called penis now in the testis the spermatozoa are produced the spermatozoa are produced in the testis the spermatozoa produce what is this spermatozoa spermatozoa means male gametes what are the male gametes so the male gametes we have to call here spermatozoa so this spermatozoa are when it is produced in the testis so from the testis the spermatozoa are entered into this vas deferentia or seminal duct it releases into the vas deferentia or seminal duct so when this spermatozoa are entered into this seminal duct in the seminal duct there is a liquid like material there is a liquid like material is there fluid like material in this seminal duct there is a fluid like material that material we have to call semen what is that semen so in this liquid material this spermatozoa are swim it swims and i eat the animal this spermatozoa was indra gochi eat the animal so actually this liquid material which is the vas deferentia where it is coming in here in the male reproductive system there are two types of glands are there one is cowper gland and another one is prostrate gland this prostrate gland and cowper gland secretes the this liquid and fluid like material that is called semen so this semen is entered into this 
vas deferentia. So in that liquid material or fluid, the spermatozoas are moving. When the spermatozoas are moving, it is coming towards the urethra, and they release it into the urethra. At the urethra level, what is the matter? From the urethra, the spermatozoas are coming out through penis. Through penis. This is about male reproductive system in human being. Let me tell you again once again. In the testis, the spermatozoas are produced. From the testis, the spermatozoas are entered into this vas deferentia. From the vas deferentia, the spermatozoas are entered into this urethra. From the urethra, it is comes out through the through a penis. Through a penis. Okay. Na? Next, if you want to see the structure of spermatozoa, that is, it looks like a fish-like structure. No, chapa pella madri. It looks like a tadpole. Sorry, tadpole-like structure. So actually, this is a spermatozoa. If you clearly observe, the spermatozoa is having three major parts. The spermatozoa, or, or this is also called as sperm. The spermatozoa it contains three major parts: head, middle piece, tail. Head, middle piece, tail. If you observe head. There is a pointed end. There is a pointed end. The pointed end is called acrosome. What is this? Acrosome. What is the use of this acrosome? So, for example, during the fertilization time, this is ovum. When the spermatozoa are reaches the, uh, reaches to this ovum. This spermatozoa it should be entered into this ovum, but when the spermatozoa entered into this ovum, so for entering it means for the penetrate, penetrate means long enough to touch it or not. When the spermatozoa is penetrated to the ovum, during that time this acrosome is very useful to penetrate into the ovum. And then the ये वाव हम लोग की इस पैम्पल जो भी अर्धा डाल की ये एक्रोज़ जो मनी जो पे हुआ इसमें बना, ओके ना? नेक्स्ट हेड, इन द हेड देर इज ए न्यूक्लियस, इन द हेड देर इज ए न्यूक्लियस, नेक्स्ट, दिस इज़ कॉल्ड मिडल पीस, दिस इज़ कॉल्ड मिडल पीस, द कनेक्शन बिटवीन द हेड एंड टेल दैट इज Energy currency store in mitochondria. It means in the middle piece we have to find out some of the mitochondria. Because of these mitochondria, the spermatozoa are getting energy. That energy is useful to to the spermatozoa for what? For swimming in the vast differentia. अंटे ये गट्टों लो ये ये दाले टे वाली गिंगा वाले एनर्जी का वाले आ एनर्जी एक करने जोश नहीं ये मिडिल पीस लो ना माइटोकांड्रिया देखने जोश थे हमारे ये मिडिल पीस लो ना माइटोकांड्रिया देखने जोश थे सो व्हेन दे आ स्विम इन दिस सिमिलर लाइक आ वेस्ट डिफरेंशिया फॉर स्विमिंग द टेल इज so this is the spermatozoa. In the spermatozoa, there, there are three major parts: head, middle piece, tail. This is about male reproductive system in human being. Okay, na? next female reproductive system. What is this? Female reproductive system in human being. So in female reproductive system in human being, if you see. There are three major parts are there. What are they? One pair of polyphen tubes is also called as oviduct. What is that? Oviduct. And one pair of ovaries. 
one pair of vowels. One is right side and another one is left side. So uterus. What is this? Uterus. This is called vagina. These are the major parts we have to see in the female reproductive system in human being. Okay. In the vowry, in the vowry, for every month one vowel is released. One vowel released. Vowel means vowel means it is a female gamut. Vowel means female gamut. Wow, what a wow unto the name of 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 Fallopian tube. What is that? Fallopian tube. This is also called as oviduct. So this ovum is entered into the fallopian tube with the help of this phenol-like structure. And the fallopian tube is a phenol-like structure. is Here there are some finger-like structures are there. So always they are moving. So then when it is when these finger-like structures are moving in the fallopian tube. The worm is entered into this fallopian tube. So now this worm is entered into this fallopian tube. So when the worm is entered into the fallopian tube, during that time, if male gamete is in the fallopian tube, male gamete, if it is in the fallopian tube, for example, this is a male gamete, means what is that? Spermatozoa. If it is in the fallopian tube, this Female gamete, male gamete, both are phases together. And in the color statement, male gamete to female gamete. Phases together. That is called fertilization. This is the color statement. Fertilization. This is the color statement. This is the color statement. Jay go. Everything you know. Is it right? Already I explained in the last class in the school. Is it right? So, this male and female gamete both are phases together and form a J-goat. The fusion process is called fertilization. What is that? So, after that, the J-goat is reached into the uterus. Reached into the uterus. So, in the uterus, in the uterus, this J-goat, in the uterus, we have to call as a embryo. So the embryo is developed as a baby. So after completion, after development of the baby, uh, in the ninth month, the baby comes out. The baby comes out. Okay now. So this is the main structure, main parts in the female reproductive system. One pair of ovaries, one pair of polypian tube, and uterus. Uterus. What is the use of this uterus? In the uterus only the baby develop. In the uterus only the baby develop until ninth month. When the ninth month completes, the baby comes out. The baby comes out. So we will uh, deeply we will study in the tenth class. Okay, this is simple structure we have to find out in our textbook. Okay, this is about female report system. So actually. When the fusion takes place, when the spermatozoa, when the spermatozoa entered into the fallopian tube, for example, this is a wow in the fallopian tube. See, the spermatozoa are reaches wow. This is the wow I draw here. So, so many spermatozoa are attached to this wow, but only one spermatozoa only. Entered into the wow. So if you see the wow structure inside the wow, there is a nucleus. There is a nucleus, and also there is a fluid-like material. This is called cytoplasm. This is called cytoplasm. This is about. This is about wow. Already I explained.
female gam male gamete that is spermatozoa this is female gamete that is wow okay na? this is about male uh, female reproductive system female reproductive system okay na? next so here fusion of wallum and spermatozoa and spermatozoa and wallum ఫ్యూజన్ అయ్యేదాన్ని ఒక ఫ్లో చార్ట్ రూపంలో చూపిస్తున్నాం ఓకేనా సో దిస్ ఈస్ మేల్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఫిమేల్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మేల్ రిపోర్టరీ పార్ట్ వాట్ ఈస్ దాట్ టెస్టిస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద టెస్టిస్ ఓన్లీ ద స్పామ్స్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఆర్ స్పామ్టోజోవాస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద టెస్టిస్ వాట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ స్పామ్స్ ఆర్ స్పామ్టోజోవాస్ this is about male sperms means this is male gamete okay na? here female reproductive system what is that that is ovary in the ovary from the ovary what comes out ovum this is female gamete so sperm and ovum both are fuses together and kalisthe anna rendu kalisthe then ఏం వస్తుందండి జై గోట్ జై గోట్ సో బై సింపుల్ ఫ్లో చార్ట్ వీ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ డూ నో దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ వేర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఇన్ ద హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఫాలోపియన్ ట్యూబ్ ఇన్ ద ఫాలోపియన్ ట్యూబ్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్